command center does give you supply. Too many units here to show the health bars, but you can see that he is doing the damage that he needs to and easily wiping it out. Thanks mostly to those siege tanks, even though they don't they have nine quills between them. Trust me, they were the MVPs of that game. And here he's starting to kite my SCVs. Um, they're really there to tank for me. So I can get these marauders out. These marauders are not going to be enough to finish the job. He is sending reinforcements finally if they were there earlier. It might have won the game for him, but really... I'm coming so late. It's allowed me once again to get pot shots off because I do have my rally point set right to it's right to the ledge. He should know better than to do that. He's going after my command center here. I really should lift it off, uh, but I'm I'm okay abandoning it really because I have a lot of minerals and gas. Because once again my macro just fell apart. I have five. Uh, five barracks now, along with two starports, and he still continue. He still refuses to run into my base. I don't know why. I'm going for an, a second expansion here, and down goes the SCV. Never, never even mind that guy. And no, not unable to take out either one of the mar the marines, even though I did slow them down. These guys want to sit down on the bench, but unfortunately the air high does not know how to sit. And here I've loaded up everything I have. This guy only has 2 HP, but he's still going to be a dropship, because I said he's going to be a dropship. Going for my expansion, am I able to cancel it in time? Uh, I think I was. Maybe not. I think it doesn't look like I had got any minerals back. But I'm going for three dropships into his base. He's got a ton of SCVs going around. He's going for an expansion on the high yield. I can't say I blame him. It's probably a little late. And I'm getting SCV kills. And this drop has forced his entire army to retreat. Everything's running back. He lifts off the orbital command, starts running it away. Take out the medevac. Am I going to be able to take out this command center? It is in the red. So it, unless it is repaired by SCVs, it should be enough. So don't underestimate the power of a medevac drop, even when it seems like you're losing I really went in as a base race, is what I had assumed, but because he sent his army back, and I, I can't understand why they were there. But I am able to wipe out his main base, taking out the factory, taking out the starport. I don't, did, he, did he rebuild the starport? I don't even remember anymore. Finally, the army comes in. And it should be enough to clean up what I have, even with the medevacs. I don't think it's going to be enough healing done. No. Down to just one marine. I do go for a, count, a second. Uh, no, that was, uh, that was what was left. I didn't even have my full army out there. It would have helped if I did. So here I go. Two more medevacs gonna be going into his main base because I assume that he's got nothing oh and he does repair that orbital command but it is out in the middle of nowheresville there we go all the drops coming out I've pretty much down to nothing trying to get uh, an expansion going I had to long distance find even to get the 400 minerals because he did wipe out my expansion a couple of times Taking out all his production facilities, he is down to pretty much nothing. In terms of the units lost, I am ahead. So, once again, medevacs. Don't underestimate them. Going for the expansion. Not even bothering taking out the supply depots. or, or Well, the engineering bay I probably should have gone for. But I don't really care about the supply depots because I assume that he's got a ton of supplies, actually 28 out of 70 now, so not as close as I thought. 
taking out all the SUVs as they're running off. Now going for supply depots. He's he's still got more harvesters than I do, and a ton more <laughs> minerals coming in thanks to the high yield expansion. And really a ton of minerals and gas. Just not spending it at all late in, in the later games. He moved the barracks up here, so I, I assumed that the base was up here. This is where I went for my third, so I assumed that's where he would go for his. But it is not. There is just the barracks up here. There is nothing else, and I will soon see that. He is going for everything down here. He's got... Oh, three barracks and two bunkers. That is quite a little turtle there. Oh, now going for a fourth barracks. So we're going to be seeing a heavy barracks build here. I am going for... Well, I'm going for saturation right now. Just trying to get what I can. He's still going to be able to keep the lead in the, heart, in the minerals because of because of the high yield. He is trying to move his orbital command down here and it is just a bad day for him because that is where I am going next. I went, as you can see, all the way around and then just, you know, used the medevacs to scout here. I assumed, oh, there's nowhere else for him to go. So I'm taking out this orbital command. He lifts it off. He's not going to be able to, to run it away. And so he goes over and he tries to land it over here in defiance. I, yeah, I don't know. Can't tell you. But really, I mean, he's still got, oh my gosh, th almost 3,200. He has got a ton of minerals and gas. So I'm going around and I'm like, okay, maybe he moved back into his main base. I, I forget the layout of this base, of this map apparently. So I finally drop a scan. I'm like, oh, that's right, there's high yields. Why didn't I remember that? So I'm taking out everything that he's got. I'm really just trying to get as many Marines as Marauders as I can because I assume that I'm ahead in the army, and I am. And I did supply lock him, so finally taking out all those, all those supply depots did count because now this army it will be able to fight no problem with just what's left it looks like he does have enough marines and they are stimmed up so he will be able to finish this off these guys oh there goes the sergeant he had 12 he had 12 and i i don't know why he backed off there Sure, he's only, he, I guess he's waiting for reinforcements, but now this guy is fully healed, and he's got two medevacs to, to guard him with, with a ton of energy. This guy can last for a long time. Finally able to take it out. He did finally get enough supply depots up, but now I am going to attack him from the other side with what I had here, and I'm going for more here. More, 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 more. Take him out. Finish the job. In come the SCVs. And down they go. I finally do stim up. It is really late, but nah, it's it's far from far from being able to, to come back from that. So there's the game. Oh, I thought I was screwed for so long in this game, but I was able to mount a comeback thanks in large part to Medivax. Never underestimate the Medivac drop. It has saved me in more games than I can count. Including this one, which I thought was long over. It was just a matter of time before he moved up into his base. Into my base, uh, sorry. And really, he should have, and if he did, he might have won the game. So yes, once again, I have a ton of gas and minerals, but that's because the game's over. But yeah, I still should have spent my gas better. Gotten, I don't know. Thor's something. Siege tanks. Siege tanks. Yeah, siege tanks are gas heavy. 150, 125. But the medevacs, they saved me this game. So I thought once again, a, a good game. But once again, I'm tired and delirious. So what do I know? So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. I hope you laughed. I hope you learned. I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching, as always.